we briefly mentioned a three terms, mm -hmm. and we did this previously. Now, one is confidentiality, then availability, and integrity. Confidentiality is all about keeping access to the information only to the intended audience. Confidentiality does two things. It ensures that the right people get the intended information and it prevents sensitive information from reaching the wrong people. Mm -hmm. right? So data encryption is one of the most common means of ensuring these days, you know, people scanning their eyes, putting yeah. their fingers to things. Users are always advised to access data from secure places and avoid public sharing places to the minimum. That's correct. And integrity... Necess necessary steps put in place. Okay. Now we must establish procedures to identify any changes to data unintentionally. The data could be changed without A redundancy mechanism in place to fail fall back in case of failover. Now this includes providing additional hardware, network bandwidth, facility, power backup, and of course taking measures to ensure a smooth transition to a failover site and back once the original site is restored. Correct. Now we just talked about the CIA triad. Let me take you back to hacking and timeline. So from the time it is disclosed till the patch is available, normally gray hats use it. From the time the patch is available to installation of the patch, white hats use the vulnerability. First. Okay, let's okay. do that. Ethical hackers fall into the white hats category. They get permission from the data owner before any hacking and use their hacking skills for defensive purposes only. Right. They use their knowledge and skills to locate weaknesses and implement
they are classified into three categories, natural threats, technological threats, and human threats. What is a natural threat? It could be exploits or web attacks. We introduced zero-day attacks a moment ago and exploits to you, uh, but what is malware? Well, here it is. Any type of program that is created with the intent to cause and Trojan horses. Any website may be compromised by cyber criminals and used to attack your data. So here are five of the most common attack methods that continue to be the scourge of many websites. SQL injection, cross-site scripting, cross-site request forgering, using components with known vulnerabilities, and what we call man in the middle. Now we're going to talk about these attack methods in subsequent chapters throughout this whole program. Correct. Human threats are insiders who have authorization to access systems and hackers who use the exploits to attack. Social engineering is being used password, pin, and any other information. I mean, the list of threats go on. And let's move on.